A decade in the making, Jeff Bezos' long-awaited orbital rocket is poised to make its maiden flight. As soon as 1 a.m. Eastern Sunday morning, Blue Origin's powerful 32-story tall New Glenn rocket will lift off from Florida's space coast without people for the first time. It will carry another company creation, Blue Ring. This is a spacecraft designed to service satellites to orbit and even attempt to land the orbital booster on a platform in the Atlantic Ocean. That's a feat until now only accomplished by rival SpaceX, and even then, not on the first try. Now, New Glenn is key to Bezos' vision for his company and for humanity's spacefaring future. While Blue Origin has been flying people and payloads to suborbital space for years and in a reusable rocket system, it hasn't had the ability to go to orbit and beyond. New Glenn enables that, paving the way for with launch access for other company projects, including space stations and lunar landers. Now, it also injects a new entrant into a launch market that is largely dominated by Elon Musk and SpaceX. Last year, SpaceX's Falcon fleet launched 134 times. That's more than the rest of the world combined. And when Starship comes online, that will shake up the market even more. But Blue's new Glenn will be the most direct competitor, especially since it's been designed from the start to be partially reusable. Much is made of the space rivalry between Bezos and Musk, but SpaceX has been really in another stratosphere. This could mark the beginning of a shift. Also watching closely, NASA and the U.S. Space Force, which both have con contracted Blue Origin for launches. Also commercial customers, including AST Space Mobile and even Blue's sister company, Amazon, which will use this rocket, among others, to help launch its multi-billion dollar Project Kuiper satellite constellation for broadband service. Lastly, Blue Origin is not the only milestone mission that's on the docket in coming days. It's going to kick off a year that's filled with space milestones, including several com commercial lunar lander missions. The first from Firefly Aerospace, which is scheduled for next week. And as soon as Monday, another test flight by SpaceX of Starship. Now, speaking of Firefly, check out my podcast, Manifest Space, wherever you get your podcasts for my conversation with Firefly Aerospace's CEO, Jason Kim, ahead of that mission next week.